Hey guys, Donna Brown here. Hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk to you why you should not create custom packages for your virtual assistant clients. So if you're a virtual assistant that's currently charging hourly and you've been thinking about transitioning to packages, chances are that you would have created some packages on your own. And after through some trial and error and realizing what is actually profitable and what is not profitable, because a lot of VAs unfortunately undercharge their package rates. Um, eventually, you probably would have found a kind of an idea, you know, a pretty good idea about how much you should charge uh, for a virtual assistant package for clients. But if you've been creating a custom package for every single person that knocks on your door looking for a quote for your services, I'm telling you now, eventually, you're going to hit a wall and you're going to... Um, not be able to take on any more clients and therefore you're not going to be able to make any more money. And the reason why is that although pa packages are actually um, awesome in the sense that they have a mass, much bigger profit margin and there's no time constraint linked to the service, eventually when you've got too many custom unique packages for every single person, you're going to be spread too thin. Inherently, you're not going to be able to grow your business. Part of the strategy that I teach is that, yes, you should be packaging your services up, but two, one of the key strategies a lot of people miss out on is the fact that in order to leverage your time better, you need to chunk your time better. In order to chunk your time better, you need to have people getting the same service because then you can chunk multiple clients together. And right when I'm recording this video, my little one is playing her little toy piano. So hopefully you can still hear me okay. I'll speak up a bit more. <laughs> I've tried to record this video like four times and it's been di very difficult with her. So I'm just, I'm going to keep going and see if we can do it. So the wall that most virtual assistants have is how can you possibly push people into the same package when different people need different things? And that's very true if you're a generalist and you're serving lots of different people with lots of different random services. However, if you are a master VA, if you are adopting the methodology and the model that I teach, you're going to specialize in one or two things for one or two kinds of people. And you know that most people need the same kind of thing. The variant or the difference between everyone is how much of it do they need. For example, if you want to specialize in videos, say you want to do YouTube videos for people, as in edit them and upload them and share them on their social media channels. We know that everyone in your target market that you decide to work with needs videos. The question is, how many videos do they need? Do they need one a week? Do they need two a week? Two a week, do they need three weeks? Do they need you know four a month? Do they need ten a month? It's the saturation that edits, not what is actually done. Because regardless of whether you do one video or ten video, you can still chunk your time. So this is why it's so important. This is quite a big topic now that I think about it. This is why it's so important that you actually know exactly who it is that you want to serve and what it is that you want to be known for. Because that enables you to create one or two or maybe three typical packages in your virtual system business that lots of the same kind of people want. Therefore, you can chunk your time. There is no custom nature of it and everybody is getting the exact same awesome result. But my only caveat is this. You don't want clients to feel like they're getting pushed into a box that everybody else is in because that doesn't feel special. We want them to feel special because they are special. So what we need to make sure is that when you're selling the package, they understand that this is the best solution for them. Don't worry about anything else or any of the other noise going on around you. She's being chased by the dog. <laughs> Don't worry about any other noise that's going on around you. This is the package for your business and this is how it's going to achieve the results that you are after. So this is, <laughs> what are you looking for? She's got her hand down my top. So this is actually quite an intensive topic, so I'm going to write about it a bit more below. I've included a blog post below that I'm going to write about it, so I can elaborate on all of the points that I've covered. But you can see here that creating packages or transitioning to packages is not just about, oh, I'm going to create a package for a client. There's actually a little bit more involved, because if you were just to create a package, you'll hit a wall. And I know you'll hit a wall, because I've seen it happen over and over and over again with clients, virtual assistants that are needing help. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has opened up, you know, um, your mind a little bit. Click on the link below and read the rest of the blog post. Hopefully it's a little bit more clear without the little one there interrupting all the time. <laughs> and um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.